Hey everyone and welcome to another Tool Talk. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner. All you gotta do is click on my icon at any point during this video. And if you like this video, which something tells me that most people are gonna like this one in particular, uh, just wait till the end and you'll figure out why. But please hit that thumbs up and if you ever have any comments in any video, please leave them. I love reading them. Uh, if you have any perspective on the tool or tools, depending on what we talk about, please leave them below. But today is going to be a little different, and you can probably tell because there's one tool but multiple boxes, and I'll talk about that at the end. But I want to kind of talk about a specific company. It's Bridge City Tools, and to kind of describe if you've never heard of them what they kind of are if you were a kid and you had that poster of this cool Ferrari or Lamborghini or whatever expensive car fill in the blank on a poster if you were to go into a woodworkers bedroom they would have a bridge city tools hand plane poster and it's because their tools are totally different than your traditional hand tools. They really are trying to push the envelope on changing the game up. And what I really appreciate about them and why I would have that poster next to my bed is that they are different. They aren't trying to do things traditionally because that's how it's always been done they look at the tool and they are trying to perfect that tool by whatever means necessary they're not staying in the traditional parameters that's been set by a tool that was made over a hundred years ago they've totally redesigned their tools to not only function more efficiently but they're beautiful and if you watch their little video on their website which I'll put a link below in the description they kind of go into detail on the fact that most hand tools only serve a purpose part of the time of the duration of a project and so the rest of the time they're either going to be sitting on your bench or they're going to be sitting in your tool cabinet and while it's sitting there it shouldn't just be a tool it should still serve a purpose and it should inspire the worker to try to make more things it should give them inspiration to design new things and I can't go on about how much I appreciate that. And whether or not their tools are good is another story. Just like the Ferrari or the Lamborghini, their price points are extremely high. Um, their jack plane is $1,000. So I probably won't be able to do a review on that tool, unfortunately, anytime soon. But... I do want to talk about some of their other tools, in particular their layout tools, and in particular this little guy. Uh, they run sales all the time, so if you sign up for their email list, you will probably get 20% or some sort of significant discount, as well as they just run sales constantly. So their layout tools tend to be in a good price range compared to other nice but affordable tool companies. And so I have this tool along with a bunch of other layout tools that I'll do videos on later. But this little guy right here, it is the cheapest tool that Bridge City makes. And so it is the first tool that I got to purchase from them. So it's not the hand plane that's on my on the poster on the wall, but it is something that they've made, and I think that's kind of what this tool is a gimmick. So I thought. So I went ahead and ordered it. They had a, a ridiculous sale on it, and so I bought it thinking, let's give it a shot. Who knows? And I will go into detail about what all it does on the close-up, but... To say the least, I was actually surprised at a tool from a company that charges a thousand dollars for a hand plane at the price that I paid for this little guy and what I thought would be a gimmick 
has actually proved me wrong. I have grown to really like this, and I've found that it actually has a lot of uses. And if you do have it, please leave comments below what you think of it. And if you have the hand planes, please let me know uh, what you think, because they're beautiful, but I've come to find out just through life that looks aren't always everything. So let's get a close up of this little guy. I'll kind of go into detail of what I would use this for. I'll kind of show it in action and then I will share the surprise at the end. All right, let's do it. All right, so here is the tool in the box that it comes in. It's a super nice box. It's a nice little presentation with the logo. It's shiny. Comes with a warranty card that is good for one year to cover manufacturer defects. But here is the tool in its little home. It's a little dense foam insert that keeps everything secure. So, this little guy is magnetic on the bottom. It's held in with three magnets, which just locks this down. So originally I thought I wouldn't like that. It's not a super strong connection, but I'll use this box lid for an example. Put it up against there. You need to scribe a line. You're, hold, you're putting pressure towards this face. And what you're going to naturally do is put your finger in this hole and you're going to do a pinch just to keep it secure. So if you hold it right, you can scribe your line and nothing is going to move. So that's honestly pretty nice. Um, the whole point of it being magnetic is so if you wanted to do the inside of something, you're not having to worry about is it right side up or down or whatever. It just will always sit flush and square. So that's honestly a really cool idea. I do wish the magnets were a bit stronger, but it probably wouldn't be as smooth to move this side to side. It's extremely light. It's made out of aluminum. And as you can see, it has the... Bridge City Tools website, and then as you can see, there's the MMS-1 Mini Miter Square. When they say many, it is. It is extremely small. So this is my handy dandy square that I typically use, and I mean it is tiny. It comes in at two inches instead of four and it's just a small thing so why would a smaller thing like this be useful I wasn't quite sure but then I remembered there was certain times where even that little combination square was kind of bulky so for instance Alright, so here is kind of a close-up of the tenon on the end of my workbench. And this is a good little spot for this guy to slide right up in. And you can check the squareness to the edge of the tenon. And if the tenon has a shoulder on this side, you'd be able to check if the this side of the tenon was flush. And it doesn't matter which side because both sides are completely square even with that little magnetic strip. Another way is you can check if it is square like so. So there is one or I guess two ways to use it and just that benefit of this being magnetic you can just move it all around you can check different faces you can check the square with this lip like that and it's square 
to this face as well. And so I was talking about the tendency to hold it like this, and that's good because if you just put it up there, you'll see it kicks out or could potentially just fall off. So just kind of getting in that groove of just holding it here, which you should because that's the sturdiest position to hold it. I have found I have not had a single problem with it. Uh, the finish is pretty nice. It's pretty durable. I can take a scribe across it and it's held up pretty well so far. I haven't used it just a ton, but the finish is great. Just holding it properly, you will have a straight 90 degree for 45, whatever you wish to find every time. As long as your finger or thumb is in the big hole, you are good to go. Alright, so I have a drawer that I made for a table, and I just want to kind of show you more examples of how this would be nice, and also uh, a drawback of it. So, here you can test and see if it is square. Before you do your glue up, if your dovetails are cut properly, uh, you can also see if it is square this way. All you gotta do is just slide that magnet over and you can just line it up just right. But the drawback to this, if you are wanting it to stop like a standard square wood, it's not going to stop on this face. It's going to stop against the magnet. So if I'm wanting to scribe my line here, on a traditional square, your stop would be flush to this face, where with it being magnetic, it needs this to not fall out, if that makes sense, this notch. So if you are going to try to base it off of this face, you cannot because it's going to stop where the magnetic strip is held, not reference to this face. So you would have to find where your line is and then just scribe it instead of referencing it off this face. Hope that makes sense. Alright, so we did a close up on this, kind of talked about the pros and cons of it and how I was actually surprised on how useful this little tool is for such an affordable price and I don't know if y'all have this tool but if you do let me know what you think about it uh, if you were just as surprised as, as I was or if you still think it's a gimmick I will say there was a a learning curve of holding it properly so the magnetic strip doesn't just fly off but other than that, I was very impressed with it. So I bought more of them, as you can see. And so that's kind of the surprise. Uh, this is with my own money. Um, and if you've been keeping up with my social media accounts, I haven't uh, really posted anything about YouTube yet. But I'm nearing 300 subscribers on Instagram as I've kind of kicked that off recently and also I'm gonna announce my channel on all of my platforms and so I just want to kind of kick off my channel by doing a giveaway alright so it's super simple to enter all you have to do is be subscribed to my channel and just leave a comment below what you think about this tool or any other Bridge City tools if you own them and it's not required but uh, if you enjoy this video, please leave a like at the end of this. I'd really appreciate it. So, I'm also doing the same giveaway on Instagram for more chances to win. All you have to do is click on the link below and go to that post that says giveaway, and the instructions will be on that. And by no means is this endorsed or sponsored by Bridge City Tools or YouTube in any way. 
this is something that's coming out of my pocket and I'll put further instructions on if you win what to do down below thank you for all the support that I've already gotten in this brief moment of being on YouTube I just really appreciate it and I want to kind of give that thanks back to you guys uh, with this I know it's small but uh, hopefully I will be able to do bigger giveaways in the future thanks for watching and I will see y'all next time thanks